Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. Now in this episode I want to revisit this arrow operator that we just implemented. I wanted to demonstrate this because if you really stop and think about it, it makes absolutely no sense at all that this code works. Now I'll explain why. When I call this arrow operator, which is a unary operator, which is this function right here, it returns a pointer. Now I am calling a function on that pointer. That doesn't make any sense. It seems like I should have to do something like this, but I don't. And in fact, if I try to do that, it doesn't compile. But interestingly, you can call C++ operators by name. So I could do this. I can call this arrow operator, which is going to give me a pointer as a result, dereference the pointer, and then call the uh, member function this way with a dot. Or if I did not have this dereference here, I could call this arrow operator and then I could pass another arrow to it. So this actually works by magic. This is what the C++ standard actually says. If I am calling class member access, class member access operator function, this is a function named operator arrow that is a non-static member function taking no parameters, like this. The operator function is selected by overload resolution and the expression is interpreted as this. So many, many years ago when this operator overloading was first allowed, we had this built into the standard. It is doing exactly what I suggested. I'm calling dot operator arrow, calling it, and then wrapping this expression in parentheses and calling an arrow operator on that to actually call the ID expression. So it's magic. There's an extra layer of help built in here. So let's just go back one level and say just how deep does this rabbit hole go? Like if I had a dumb pointer, I'm going to have to template this at this point. All right, so now I've got my dumb pointer two. And if I, except I cannot spell. If I call dumb pointer two arrow, can I call size on it? because this is a thing returning a pointer-like thing. Can I do that? No. This is gonna tell me struct pointer blah 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 has no member named size. So it doesn't cascade. We can't really abuse this in maybe the ways that we would like to. We kind of have to do things like dereference it or whatever and this is part of why you'll always see that we've got can do things like this now we can dereference this thing get what it points to and then point to it so the arrow operator is magic but it is not a rabbit hole that goes very deep so uh yeah Thank you for watching this episode of C++ Weekly. Be sure to subscribe.